What about Afghanistan? Are you, are you pleased to see the Taliban back in control in Afghanistan? Are you, were you pleased to see the West defeated? Mark, Afghanistan, there was never going to be a military solution. Anyone who knows the history of Afghanistan and the British above all, have experienced three wars in Afghanistan, the three times they've gone into Afghanistan in the 19th century, twice in 19 and once in the 20th century. There was never going to be a military solution. People like us who kept saying that you will not solve Afghanistan problem by bombing them or, or sending your military, we were called pro-Taliban. Uh, people like us were always talking about how would there be people in Afghanistan. For 40 years, they've been suffering. Mark, this is not a football match, whether you're on one side or the other. When Afghanistan, when there are problems there, the country that suffers most is Pakistan. Because we, sub we already have three and a half billion Afghan refugees there. You said the chains of slavery had been broken in the country. What, when the Americans left Mark, and the British left, what was, did you mean by that? that? It was deliberately distorted. I was speaking in Urdu. I was talking about getting rid of mental slavery. We still have the colonial education system with elite is uh, taught in English medium. I was, we had first time in our history had one syllabus for everyone. And I said that mental slavery is far worse than physical slavery. In that context, I refer to Afghanistan, but, where physical, you know, right. uh, they're fighting for their freedom. What uh, about the slavery of women? Are, they, are you concerned that they seem to be going back on their commitment to allow girls back to school, and they're now insisting women cover their faces. Are you worried at all about what is happening there? Mark, I am not responsible or a spokesman for the Taliban. If there was any other solution after 20 years of war, well, there should have been. You should have found some solution. But Pakistan that, has that, supported the that, Taliban. That, that, how? By, who, who says this? By harboring Taliban fighters inside Pakistan. Do you know something, Mark? There is so much propaganda and ignorance about this whole Pakistan-Afghanistan situation. Pakistan lost 80,000 people. No country where supported the U.S. in the war on terror gives as many sacrifices as we did. The only reason we lost 80,000 people was because we joined the U.S. war on terror. Because the U.S. was trying to find a military solution in Afghanistan where none existed, we were blamed. A country that gives sacrifices. We were blamed for the lack of success in Afghanistan. We, what is happening in Afghanistan has nothing to do with us. The fact is that a war in Afghanistan meant five million refugees at the beginning in the 80s. We have three and a half million refugees. We had what were the Pakistan Taliban who, who were fighting against our state. We still have terrorism as a result of participating in the US war. For Pakistan, to be blamed. There are three and a half million refugees. Mark, how do you stop? How do we know uh, who would go across and be with the Taliban? So Pakistan, fenced, first time we fenced our border. There was open border before. So in our three and a half, a half years, we have fenced the border. But please do not blame Pakistan. Pakistan is the collateral damage of Afghanistan. Okay.